peace and power peace and power um i just wanted to get on here and share with you how it is that i trade um i am making sure that you can see the screen number one this is about my third or fourth time recording this and then um it's not going to be a long video it's going to be in and out so i just want to come here and show you how i trade gold everybody trades different um for the new people my name is nina i am a student at i am academy and so i've been a student with i am academy for about a year and i have been trading now for about a year and a half and i fired my boss and so i wanted to start documenting more of my journey and this is it so what you see here we're on trading view and this is my gold chart um, what I use are a couple of indicators. This one is called the stochastic. It's like a moving indicator. Um, as you can see, it looks like dots. And I also sometimes use a line chart so I can see more clear. These are what you call the hor horizontal lines, um, which are blue. And market price is here in yellow. The line chart is very helpful for me because it gives me a clear view. Um, you can see right here that gold did a little head and shoulders on the line chart. You can see it very well. And so that's why I use it to mark up my chart. One of my indicators is this line chart. Another one of my indicators are here. I use the percentages. Um, this right here helps me to, I guess, just confirm whether gold is in a buy or a sell. So right now we see that gold is up four percent um and i use the percentages a lot of people use pip count um i didn't know anything about pips when i first started trading and so i know how to count i know percentages so that's what i use um, i'm not a percentage expert but this is how i confirm where gold is or whatever um currency market is this has always helped me a lot. I know how to count my coins. And so using this line chart, we can see gold is in a buy. Also, the percentage is confirmation that gold is up 4%. And so um, I want to start out by saying this is not financial advice. I am not an expert. Um, I am learning to trade. Again, I'm a student at IM Academy. And this is how I learn how to trade. Um, everybody's capital is different. Um, everybody's risk management will be different. So again, this is not financial advice. I'm not responsible for anything you lose or gain in your trading journey. Okay, so for those of you um, that want to learn how to trade, have been hearing about it, is interested, please feel free to reach out to me via Instagram or my email. Um, if you use the email, put ready in the subject line and if you are on instagram dm me ready and i have a few three-day passes left and so the first 11 of you that respond to this video i have a th free three-day pass um available for you so that you can get on here and become familiar with the market do yourself a favor um become familiar even if you're not ready to learn at this moment just to play around with it and see if it's an attainable goal for yourself um i am academy is an academy it's a school and so everybody learns at different pace um you pretty much do your classes at your own pace everybody's motivation is different i am very persistent in gaining my freedom and i mean freedom of time and money and so um my dedication again i'm still with the academy but i've been with the academy for a year and a half um i don't intend on leaving i enjoy the academy i get to trade with the top traders in the world and um there's just nothing like connection um i fellowship with other traders we have conferences we're getting to know each other building relationships and so it, it's all worth it for me the academy is 174 a month 
um, to start out is two thirty five, and so you pay your monthly fee just like you would going to college and paying college tuition, and then on the other side of it, you're freeing up your time, and you're learning to be more financially free with your money instead of using your time trading your time for money you're making your money work for you in this venture all right so along with how i trade what i do here a lot of people use the lines the lines are cool the trend lines but when you use a line chart you do not need trend lines you can see the line very clear uh, even if you're a trader that uses shapes or market patterns to trade you can see those macro patterns when you're using the line chart. Um, I do use candles, don't get me wrong. Um, again, I use these little indicators as a moving average of where the market prices are. And the horizontal lines let me know um, where the gold is in an uptrend or down. And as we can see here, gold is in an uptrend. It came from here to here. So it's gaining momentum. This is what we would call a bullish market. Where gold is rising. And when we're talking about a bearish market, that means the price is falling. All right. So um, a couple of indicators that I use, like I said, are the dots. I also use this line down here called the stochastic. Um, this is the parabolic SAR, the dots are. Um, I also go on a day chart to confirm whether gold is in an uptrend or downtrend. As you can see on the day, gold is in an uptrend. Again, it came from here and it's here. So these are all my confirmations. Um, when I want to see what gold is about to do, if it, is it going to continue to buy um, in this bullish market? I'll look here on the 15 minute chart and as we see, gold is in a buy. I did a little pullback. Um, my second video was during the pullback where it went down a little bit and now it's continuing to buy. So these are just confirmations on the 15 minute and the day. Um, the chart I mostly use is the four hour chart. Um, with the hour to 15 minute, it gives me too much anxiety. Um, and just using the day and the monthly is kind of too slow. And so I stick right here in the middle on the four hour chart. Um, Gold has been bouncing back and forth from 1797 all the way up to, um, I would say, 1809. And so today we got a little higher. Right now it's at 1818. And that means we broke the ceiling, the previous ceiling of gold. And so gold is in an uptrend. Um, this is the MT4 platform. On my computer, I'm usually trading on my phone, but today for this video, I wanted to have everything set up properly so you all could see what it is that I see. And so here I placed a line where I entered the market, which is right here at 18. How do we zoom in? Hey. Right. <laughs> okay. I got in right here. And yeah, I'm trying to change the color, but I digress. So everybody's capital is different. This is an account that I had $23 in. And this is just from this week. And from this week, um, you see it, the improvement. And so right now my trade is in profit. $25 from 10 cent. This is the lot size. I put in a 10 cent lot size and I'm making 25, let's say roughly $25 on a 10 cent lot size. So I took 10 cent and made $25 on a buy for gold. These are other currency pairs that I trade. Um, this is who I started out with, Great British Pound versus the U.S. dollar. And so um, I put that down for gold. Gold is my favorite. And I just wanted to master gold. I did. And so I stayed persistent. I've been mastering gold now for about two to three months. And I'm going to continue to just work on it, um, improve my craft. Again, this is the line chart, but you can use candles. I use both. 
Where are the candles? It's hmm. not what I was doing. Okay, so here are the candlesticks. Um, again, I trade on my phone, so I can't even tell you how to adjust these colors so it can be more clear for you. Um, yeah, this is on the computer, but it's still a live account. And this is where I'm at with it. Let's see, can we go down here? Properties, black on white, mm-mm. Okay. Boom. That looks a little better. Okay. So, again, this is my chart. This is where I am in the market. This is where price is. And I confirm it um, several ways. Um, what I look for to see if gold is going to stop selling if this is reduced. If it goes back down to zero and then goes into the negative, then I know that gold is going to come down. It usually comes down around the close of the market on a Friday. And so, like I said, I've been watching it. I've been stalking gold. Gold is very volatile, though. When you first start out trading, you want to make sure you're trading currency pairs. And then you work your way up. Um, I've went through Bitcoin. I went through Ethereum. All these are digital currencies. And now I'm just trading gold. Um, something tangible. And I intend to start trading silver as well. Okay, I don't want to keep you long. And so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Just want to say peace and power. I hope everyone has a good weekend. And again, this is not financial advice. This is for educational purposes only um, so that you can continue to see me on my trading journey. Peace.